Hello everyone, I am Emit Alkush. In this video, we will solve one problem in chapter 22. Find the total charge for each case. A. A rod of length 2.4 meters and of line charge density lambda 7.6 nanocoulombs per meter, which is constant along the rod. The line charge density lambda is found by the formula dq over dl. Here dl is dx. Therefore dq is lambda times dx. If we take the integral of both sides, since lambda is constant, we take it outside the integral to get lambda times integral of dx. Here, integral of dq is the total charge and integral of dx is the total length L. Therefore, q becomes lambda times L. Now, we put these values into this formula. Therefore, we obtain the total charge approximately as 18.2 nanocoulombs. Find the total charge for a rod of length 2.4 meters and all line charge density lambda is 7.6x where lambda is in nanocoulombs per meter where x is in meters. At position x in the incremental line of segment dx we have incremental charge as dq equals lambda times dx. Since lambda is 7.6x, if we take the integral of both sides, we write integral of dq as the total charge. And since 7.6 is a number, it can be taken outside the integral. So we are left with in the integral sign x times dx and it is from 0 to 2.4 meters. Because integral of x is x squared over 2, so we have 3.8 times 2.4 squared minus 0 squared. Therefore, the total charge is obtained as approximately 21.9 nanocoulombs. C. Find the total charge of a semicircle of radius R equals 1.2 meters and of line charge density lambda equals 7.6 nanocoulombs per meter, which is constant along the semicircle. The line charge density has the formula dq over dl. However, since lambda is constant along the semicircle, we can write also total charge over total length. Here L is the length of the semicircle. From which we obtain total charge as lambda times L. L is found to be 2 pi r over 2 since it is the circumference of the semicircle. Therefore we obtain lambda pi r. Now we put the numerical values into this equation. As a result, we have approximately 28.7 nanocoulombs. D. Find the total charge of a semicircle of radius r 1.2 meters and of line charge density lambda 7.6 theta, where lambda is in nanocoulombs per meter theta is in radians and theta is measured from the negative y-axis. The line charge density lambda is calculated by the formula dq over dl from which we obtain dq as lambda times dl where dl is shown in the figure which is calculated to be 
r times d theta. Therefore, dq becomes lambda times r times d theta. Lambda is given as 7.6 theta. So, we obtain 7.6 r theta d theta. Now, we take the integral of both sides. We know that the integral of dq is the total charge. And because 7.6 and r are constant, they can be taken outside the integral. So, we obtain total charge equals 7.6 times r times integral of theta d theta. And because the integral variable is theta, the endpoints are taken 0 and pi. Integral of theta is theta squared over 2. If we substitute the numerical values into this equation, we obtain the total charge as 45 nanocoulombs. Okay, this is the end of the discussion of this problem. Thank you for your attention. See you in the next video.